Yo, what's good NFL fans? Welcome back to Touchdown Kingdom, the hub of all the latest NFL news and content. In today's video, we're going to give you guys our third edition of our NFL first round mock draft. You guys have been showing this series on this channel a ton of love and I want to thank you guys so much. If you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs it up. Also, if you guys disagree with any of these picks, that is totally okay. Just comment down below some of the picks that you guys want to see from your favorite teams. Also, in this video, we're going to debut the first time we do mock trades. So there's going to be teams trading up in the draft, also trading down. With that being said, let's jump right into it. With the first pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars selecting Trevor Lawrence, quarterback out of Clemson. This pick is definitely a no-brainer. Although Zach Wilson's draft stock seems to be rising significantly as of late, the Jaguars will almost 100% be drafting Trevor Lawrence with the first overall pick in my opinion. Many people consider him to be the best quarterback to come out of the draft since Andrew Luck. Second pick, we have this being traded to the Carolina Panthers as they will select Zach Wilson, quarterback BYU. The Panthers have made it known that they're looking for an upgrade at the quarterback position. Trading up with the Jets would allow them to land Zach Wilson, who is thought to be by the majority of people as the second best quarterback prospect coming out of college this year. With the third pick, we have the Miami Dolphins selecting Panay Sewell, offensive tackle, Oregon. The Dolphins are looking to protect their quarterback, which as of right now, looks like it's going to be to a Tiger Bailoa, even though the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes are still alive and the Dolphins are definitely a favorite to land him. Sewell is one of the more dominant blockers to come out of school in recent years, and he would be a great fit in Miami. With the fourth pick, we have the Atlanta Falcons selecting Justin Fields, quarterback, Ohio State. The Falcons are another team that might benefit from a new blood at quarterback. Matt Ryan is getting up there in age and the former MVP just hasn't been playing up to standards recently. Even if it's to learn behind Matt Ryan for a year or two, I would be surprised if Atlanta did not draft a young quarterback in this year's draft. With the fifth pick, we have the Cincinnati Bengals selecting Jamar Chase, wide receiver, LSU. With Panay Sewell off the board, we think that Cincinnati will look to reunite Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, who posted incredible numbers together at LSU. Chase would fit into the Bengals' pass-heavy offense very nicely. With the sixth pick, we have the Philadelphia Eagles selecting Devontae Smith, wide receiver, Alabama. The Philadelphia Eagles are looking for more firepower on offense for young quarterback Jalen Hurts. The most recent Heisman Trophy winner would fit right in with Philadelphia. With the seventh pick, we have the Detroit Lions selecting Jalen Waddle, wide receiver, Alabama. With Kenny Galladay likely to be moving on this offseason, the Lions are desperately in need of a true wide receiver one, and we think that Jalen Waddle will be a perfect fit in Detroit. The eighth pick in this year's draft got traded to the New York Jets, and we have the Jets selecting Kyle Pitts, tight end, Florida. Pitts has been a name on the rise in recent weeks, with many people saying that he's going to be elite in the NFL. The New York Jets dished out on their opportunity to draft a quarterback, and they think that Kyle Pitts will be an amazing safety blanket for Sam Darnold. With the ninth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, we have yet another trade. The Denver Broncos trade down with the Los Angeles Chargers. We have the Chargers selecting Rashawn Slater, offensive lineman, Northwestern. The Chargers' number one priority is to protect Justin Herbert who proved to the league during his rookie campaign that he has a lot of potential to be an elite starting quarterback in the NFL. Some people consider Rashawn Slater to be the most NFL-ready offensive lineman coming out of this year's draft, and the Chargers will have no issues moving up to snag him before somebody else does. With the 10th pick, we have the Dallas Cowboys selecting Patrick Certain II, cornerback Alabama. The Cowboys secondary has struggled since they lost Byron Jones in free agency. I will be very surprised if they did not address this issue in the first round in the 2021 NFL Draft. With the 11th pick, we have the New York Giants selecting Gregory Russo, edge rusher, Miami. Kyle Pitts, Devontae Smith, and Jamar Chase are already off the board. I think this means the Giants are going to be the first team to draft an edge rusher in this year's draft, and it's going to be Gregory Russo, who stacked up an absolutely insane 19.5 tackles for loss and 15.5 sacks in just one season. With the 12th pick, we have the San Francisco 49ers selecting J.C. Horn, 
cornerback, South Carolina. Richard Sherman is a pending free agent and will be most likely not returning to San Francisco. The 49ers are going to look to bolster their secondary by snagging Horn, son of the former All-Pro wide receiver Joe Horn. He should be an absolute difference maker for the 49ers in year one. With the 13th pick, we have the Denver Broncos selecting via the LA Chargers, Trey Lance, quarterback, North Dakota State. Trading back with the Chargers gives the Broncos the golden opportunity of receiving additional draft capital while still being able to draft a quarterback relatively early in the first round. Drew Locke is a giant question mark, and although it seems the Broncos might commit to Locke for 2021, Trey Lance would be an attractive pick for the Broncos, especially after receiving compensation for that ninth overall pick. With the 14th pick, we have the Minnesota Vikings selecting Quiddy Pay, edge rusher, Michigan. Quiddy Pay is a freakish athlete that would be scary on the opposite side of Danielle Hunter on the Vikings defensive line. With the 15th pick, we have the New England Patriots selecting Therese Marshall Jr., wide receiver, LSU. Bill Belichick knows that his team desperately needs help at the skill positions. Although he had a bad history of drafting receivers, the Patriots would be getting a phenomenal value with this pick at this stage in the first round. With the 16th pick, we have the Arizona Cardinals selecting Christian Darasaw, offensive tackle, Virginia Tech. The Cardinals will bolster their offensive line and invest in protecting Kyler Murray with the 16th pick. Darasaw has a great technique and will be a quality rookie for their offensive line. With the 17th pick, we have the Las Vegas Raiders selecting Jalen Phillips, edge rusher, Miami. Phillips has great size and athleticism combined with incredible strength that will make him a great asset to whatever team drafts him. The Raiders need to bolster many spots on their defense, but edge rusher is definitely a huge need. With the 18th pick, we have the Miami Dolphins selecting Micah Parsons, linebacker, Penn State. The Dolphins can use more improvement at the linebacker position to really take their defense to the next level. Micah Parsons is widely considered to be the best linebacker talent coming out of college in 2021, so it should be a no-brainer for the Dolphins if he's still on the board. With the 19th pick, we have the Washington football selecting Mac Jones, quarterback, Alabama. The Washington football team will answer their quarterback question mark by drafting Alabama quarterback Mac Jones with a 19th overall pick. He has been skyrocketing on a lot of quarterback boards this year's draft, and we think that he has a lot of potential in the NFL. With the 20th pick, we have the Chicago Bears selecting Rashad Bateman, wide receiver, Minnesota. The Bears are going to lose out on Allen Robinson in free agency, who has emerged to be one of the best wide receiver talents in the NFL. Oddly enough, Bateman has been called an Allen Robinson clone. He would obviously be a great fit for the Bears with a 20th overall pick. With the 21st pick, we have the Indianapolis Colts selecting Tevin Jenkins, offensive tackle, Oklahoma State. Phillip Rivers is out and Carson Wentz is in. Now it's time for the Colts to invest in protecting their new franchise quarterback and it'll do just that by drafting Jenkins with the 21st overall pick. With the 22nd pick, we have the Tennessee Titans selecting Zaven Collins, linebacker, Tulsa. Collins would be a great fit for the Titans because he can be effective as both an edge rusher or a blitzer from the linebacker spot, which is something that Titans defense desperately needs. With the 23rd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, we have the New York Jets selecting Elijah Vera Tucker, guard, USC. Vera Tucker is regarded as the best interior offensive lineman in this year's draft, and the Jets are certainly in desperate need at both guard spots. This is a no-brainer for Joe Douglas and company, if he is still on the board. With the 24th pick, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers selecting Samuel Cosme, offensive tackle, Texas. Left tackle Alejandro Villanueva will be hitting the open market, and Marquise Pouncey recently retired. The Steelers have been committed to Ben Roethlisberger and now they must commit to protecting the aging future Hall of Famer. With the 25th pick, we have another trade. The Buffalo Bills trade up to take the Jacksonville Jaguars spot and they will be taking Jeremiah Awusu Karamoa, linebacker, Notre Dame. Matt Milano is potentially walking out the door and the Bills will need to be aggressive to replace him. They won't mind giving up some draft capital to move up 5 spots and taking Karamoa who has been on a name on the rise in recent weeks because of his sideline-to-sideline -side play at the linebacker spot. 
With the 26th pick, we have the Cleveland Browns selecting Jason Owe, edge rusher, Penn State. The Browns failed to land J.J. Watt, and Oliver Vernon is both a free agent and coming off an Achilles tear. Cleveland will look to complement Miles Garrett by drafting Jason Owe and putting him on the other side of that defensive front. With the 27th pick, we have the Baltimore Ravens selecting Cardarius Tony, wide receiver, Florida. The lack of a true number one receiver has caused issues for the dynamic Lamar Jackson led Ravens offense. Drafting Tony late in the first round would instantly help out Lamar Jackson, giving him a new, reliable, and explosive target. With the 28th pick, we have the New Orleans Saints selecting Trevon Morig, safety, TSU. Marcus Williams is a pending free agent and Malcolm Jenkins is getting older and older. The Saints will fill a need by drafting the top rated safety coming out of college. With the 29th pick, we have the Green Bay Packers selecting Alex Leatherwood, offensive tackle, Alabama. The Packers are looking to maintain one of the league's best offensive lines. Taking an offensive tackle that could move around and also play guard would make a lot of sense for the Green Bay Packers late in the first round. With the 30th pick, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars selecting, via the Buffalo Bills, Jalen Mayfield, offensive tackle, Michigan. Protecting Trevor Lawrence is a priority number one, and the Jaguars won't mind being compensated to move back five spots and still draft an offensive tackle. With the 31st pick, we have the Kansas City Chiefs selecting Liam Eikenberg, offensive tackle, Notre Dame. We all just watched the Super Bowl and saw Patrick Mahomes running for his life almost every snap. Offensive line is a huge need for the Chiefs if they expect to continue to be contenders year in and year out. With the 32nd pick, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers selecting Christian Barmore, defensive tackle, Alabama. Ndama Kung Su is most likely out, and Levante David and Shaq Barrett are the most crucial parts to the Bucks' defense success. The Bucks will look to bring in Barmore to hopefully replace Su's productivity. That does it for Touchdown Kingdom's NFL First Round Mock Draft 3.0. Leave a comment down below what your guys' thoughts of the mock draft and if you guys agreed or disagree with any of the picks. Again, if you guys disagree, that is totally okay. If you guys enjoyed the video, do not forget to thumbs it up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It means the world to me. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.